types of neurons neurons are classified in many ways first we will see structural classification structurally neurons are classified according to the number of processes extending from the cell body these are multipolar neurons bipolar neurons and unipolar neurons now what are multipolar neurons multipolar neurons usually have several dendrites and one exon most neurons in the brain and spinal cord are of this type as well as all motor neurons as you can see in this picture there are several dendrites and one exon so this is a multipolar neuron next is the bipolar neuron bipolar neuron have one main dendrite and one axon they are found in the retina of the eye the inner ear and the olfactory area of the brain as you can see in the diagram the cell body this is the cell body this is the one main dendrite and this is the exon next unipolar neurons unipolar neurons have dendrites and one exon that are fused together to form a continuous process that emerges from the cell body now you can see over here unipolar neuron the dendrite and the exon are fused together and this is the cell body the dendrites of most of the unipolar neurons function as a sensory receptor that detect a sensory stimulus such as touch pressure pain or thermal stimuli the dendrites of the unipolar neuron they mostly act as a sensory receptors sensory receptors means these are any uh, these are receptors which detect any changes for example if there is pressure or if there is pain or a sense of touch these are the receptors which feel these changes and carries the information to the central nervous system in addition to the structural classification some neurons are named for the histologist who first described them or for an aspect of their shape or appearance examples include purkinje cells in the cerebellum and pyramidal cells found in the cerebral cortex of the brain which have pyramid shaped cell bodies multipolar neurons uh, these are the different types this is the motor neuron purkinje cells you can see the purkinje cells it has many dendrites and one exon it is a type of multipolar neuron and pyramidal cells pyramidal shaped cells this is a sh this is of a shape of a pyramid again it has many dendrites and purkinje cells are found in the cerebellum cerebellum and pyramidal cells are found in the cerebral cortex of the brain functional classification functionally neurons are classified according to the direction in which the nerve impulse is conveyed with respect to the central nervous system they are classified as sensory neurons interneurons motor neurons in the previous video also i told you what is nerve impulse nerve impulse is basically a message which the neurons carries either from the peripheral nervous system to the central nervous system or from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system it is a message which the neurons carry nerve impulses are also known as action potential sensory or efferent neuron they carry the nerve impulse 
from the body parts to the central nervous system it either contains sensory receptors at the distal sites or are located just after the sensory re receptors that are separate cells once an appropriate stimulus activates a sensory receptor the sensory neuron forms an action potential in its axon an action potential is conveyed into the central nervous system through cranial and spinal nerves most sensory neurons are unipolar in structure so sensory or efferent neurons are those neurons which have the dendrites near to the receptors sensory receptors and when there is any changes when there is any stimulus these sensory receptors get activated and these sensory receptors passes on the information to the sensory neurons and sensory neurons uh, forms an action potential or it creates a message which is then passed on to the central nervous system and most of the sensory neurons are unipolar in nature next is the motor neurons motor or efferent neurons convey action potential away from the central nervous system to effectors such as muscles and glands in the peripheral nervous system through cranial or spinal nerves motor neurons are multipolar in structure so motor neurons are the ones which carries the information or the message from the central nervous system to the muscles or the glands interneurons interneurons are in between the sensory neurons and the motor neurons they are the association they are connecting the sensory neurons to the motor neurons and they are present in the central nervous system interneurons uh, or association neurons are mainly located within the cns between sensory and motor neurons interneurons integrate incoming sensory information from sensory neurons and then elicit a motor response by activating the appropriate motor neurons most interneurons are multipolar in structure the neurons are also classified as myelinated and unmyelinated neurons the axons which are surrounded by the myelin sheath are considered as myelinated neurons and those which are not surrounded by myelin sheath are considered as unmyelinated neurons as you can see over here the axon in this the axon is covered by the myelin sheet and this is considered as a myelinated neuron and in this the axon is not covered Uh, uh, covered by the myelin sheet and it is considered as the non myelinated neuron